What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I'm very excited to show you guys this haul from Eclipse Graphics. Alright, so let's have a look. This is the package that it arrived in, so let's pour all of the contents out of here. Alright, now let's see, now let's tidy this up a bit. Alright, so here we have everything that was inside of that envelope. As you can see, we got some awesome movie posters, still vending machine, we got Rich Portal Gun here. Uh, also some printed tiles and bricks out here. And I also got this little bag here with some freebie stuff, which I'm going to show you guys later with a little thank you sticker here. And I've been looking at this website for a couple of years already. I always wanted to order something uh, from them, but uh, because they're based in the USA and I didn't find any European resellers, uh, like the shipping costs are pretty high. Also, we got to pay customs fees plus extra taxes and stuff when it gets here. So I also had to pay extra taxes with this order, unfortunately. Uh, but either way, so that was my motivation for not ordering uh, from them for a long time but when I saw what was in here which I'm going to show you later I just had to make one order so I just looked around on the website just saw everything that I really really wanted in the city or which seemed very cool and I just added all of that in because I just needed to have some of this stuff so either way uh, that's when I ordered it and it arrived here like a couple of days ago so now let's take a little closer look at everything we got here all right, so here we have the first movie poster, which is for Avengers Infinity War. And I'm really digging the style here uh, from the comics there with all of the uh, heroes on it. So very, very cool. Love the stripes coming from the Infinity Stones. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to put all of these. Probably some of them on the Palace Cinema and others for billboards or either like uh, bus stops or something. Or either way, I'll find a place for them. Uh, but yeah, that was the first one. Now let's get the second one. We got, oh, we got this uh, Deadpool poster here, which is a pretty funny one. And uh, this was like part of the marketing for Deadpool 2. I think he's parodying another another uh, movie post. I'm not sure which one, but I think it wasn't supposed to be bullets, but like flowers or something. They did a lot of par uh, parodying for that uh, second movie. Now, of course, I also had to get this classic Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone poster here, uh, which is very nostalgic to me. And I really like it. This is like the classical poster from when I was a kid. And as you can see, it's a bit strange. You can see these faces here, very strange face for Hermione. I think it's for from the third or fourth movie, or it even seems like these were from the uh, yellow faces, uh, the, or the era from the yellow faces before. But either way, I think there used to be a Hagrid like that as well. Uh, but so yeah, it's pretty funny looking. Uh, but either way, I'm really digging this one. Uh, definitely gonna hang this one in the Palace Cinema, I believe. Now then, we got two more out here. These are all from Into the Spider-Verse. First off, we got Spider-Man Noir here. Very, very cool. I'm really digging this poster. It's pretty cool, it might fit perfectly with like the detective's office or something. Uh, but either way, then we got this other one here with Spider-Ham on it. And this says Into the Spider-Verse, but I believe this is a standalone little short movie or like movie from like 45 minutes or something uh, about Peter Porker or Spider-Ham himself. And I really just love this, uh, the, the colors, how they pop off, like the yellow with the red. I think it will be a very uh, a big eye catcher in the city wherever it goes. Um, so yeah, either way, those were the movie posters. Now let's move on to some other stuff. All right, and for our next item, we have this Brickster Energy vending machine here. Now shout out to all Kyles who follow me or subscribe to me. This is for you guys. I'm putting this in the city. <laughs> uh, this Brickster Energy vending machine in the skate park, probably where most of the Kyles will reside. Uh, but either way, I do think it looks very cool. I did want to put a vending machine in, I was thinking Coca-Cola at first, but then this monster one, I think it really fits well with the skate park and stuff. So yeah, that's where this is gonna go. Uh, but yeah, let's move on with some other items out here. One thing I, that I really, really needed was this uh, this portal gun here from Rick. As you can see, it's, it's a bit stuck in there. It's a very cool looking one. It's just a new molded piece that uh, these guys made themselves. So very awesome. I was using a little brick build portal gun that I've made myself but I mean it's nothing compared to this this just looks so epic so I can't wait to put this on rig all right and now for our next product in here it seems like they didn't have any uh, customized packaging material for this yet as I just got it sent like this in this plastic one with some bubble wrap in there and as you can see these are holographic figures or holographic I don't know what it's called like the stuff on like war tables or anything or something like that so we got an at, -AT and a tie fighter out here now the at, -AT has two anti-stud connections on the on the on the bottom here like uh, an animal would have so like a real dog would have <laughs> and then um, this at uh, or this tie fighter uh, excuse me has like a little pin connection in there so you can put a little pin in there uh, but yeah so these are pretty pretty awesome now they also have some other things i think they have an x-wing uh, some other vehicles as well i'm not really sure which ones but check those out those are very epic all right so now we got all of that out of the way now let's take out this little baggie here check what we got out here so yeah first off this 
epic sticker here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Stan Lee or if it's supposed to be like uh, that guy from Playboy. I'm not sure what his name is, Hugh Hefner. Um, so yeah, but it's a pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool sticker. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Uh, but yeah, let's tidy this up a little bit and then I'm going to show you guys what, is, what all of this is. All right, guys, so let's have a look at these custom bricks and custom tiles. Now let's start off with these pretty awesome heads out here. As you can see, this is Toxic Rick, Toxic Morty, and then we have this uh, like robot face Morty. It's like in the intro where his face falls off uh, and he reveals to be a robot. Uh, but either way, they had a lot of other awesome Rick and Morty stuff. But unfortunately, I was too late for all of that as it was already sold out. I'll try to focus on there. Uh, so yeah, I was missing like a Mr. Meeseeks. They had like, I think, a Scary Terry and stuff. So pretty epic stuff. But either way, I'm glad I had these two. Uh, or these three now I can still make a Toxic Morty and Toxic Rick um, but yeah either way let's move on with some other Rick and Morty stuff so first off we got the fruit or the tie loops here as you can see pretty awesome really digging that really digging the brick build um, little I don't know toucan or something and also those leaves uh, around the logo and stuff that's pretty epic and then underneath there we have some strawberry schmiggles uh, so very epic from that uh uh, interdimensional cable uh, TV episode there and then we also have the eye holes the eye hole uh, with the eye hole man on it so pretty funny scene as well from Rick and Morty if you're a fan if you're not go check it out it's a pretty funny episode especially the interdimensional cable episodes uh, so yeah let's move on with some other Rick and Morty stuff we got this very funny plumbus here no one knows the true purpose of a plumbus but you know how it has been made it's also from that episode uh, then out here we have some other stuff we got the simple Rick's wafers here. So yeah, pretty funny things as well. Uh, pretty good episode as well. That's from like the um, Citadel of Rick's episode. This one is as well, I believe. This is the um, voucher for, it's pretty hard to read, but it's voucher for replacement Morty. Uh, so yeah, in the Citadel of Rick's, if you saw that episode, it's a pretty funny one. So you can just get a replacement Morty just like that. Um, but yeah, moving on, we got some of the, uh, we got a little best card tile out here. Let me see. This is the best card tile, so pretty cool. I like the texture, like the Empire logo on it. Uh, next up, we have the, uh, an iPhone here. So just like a real iPhone, might be pretty hard to see. But yeah, it's pretty nice. The printing quality is also very good, actually. I'm very surprised by it. And then out here, this is pretty awesome as well. This is a transparent tile, which is, has been used to uh, mimic like the AR or the VR actually the virtual reality stuff that you get with the or the AR I'm not sure what it's called actually uh, with your phone so you can catch like uh, Mewtwo here we have Mewtwo on here um, to mimic the Pokemon Go uh, app here and then I just randomly bought this little gun here <laughs> that I just want to give to uh, the Punisher or want to have him use it uh, because this was on sale and it was pretty cheap so I thought I would just buy it I'm not sure what type of gun it is that will be something for my American viewers to say I have no idea I, I don't know anything about guns and stuff and then out here we have this uh, bricks here let me see if we can focus we have these bricks uh, chocolate studs here so obviously a uh, Reese's Pieces parody here very very awesome I'm a big fan of Reese's Pieces I love peanut butter um, so yeah then we got the next one here we got the brickers obviously it's supposed to be Snickers also with some peanut butter I'm really loving that uh, so yeah <laughs> I just had to show my love for uh, these peanut butter snacks in the city so that's what I'm gonna do uh, and then next up we got this tile here which is supposed to be like visa uh, or something like yeah like the visa logo or something so I'm gonna place that in the city trying to kind of get this like uh, Times Square vibe so I'm probably gonna put it somewhere out there uh, alongside the Daily Bugle and stuff so I thought this would be pretty cool to have like sticking out of a building or something like that except this visa uh, as payment so and then the two next things we have here our two little sets from Star Wars. Oh, let me hold up. Let me see if we can focus on this. It's going to be pretty hard. So pretty cool. We got the pod racer on top and the battle pack on the bottom. Very awesome. Uh, so yeah, I really had to have these as well in the Lego store or somewhere else uh, in the Lego store mock that I want to make. All right, now let's get to these comics. And these are very epic when I saw these. I knew I had to get like, I almost have every one of them that they, saw, uh, that they sell. Uh, but I definitely had to get the Spider-Man ones, uh, the Mandalorian one, Infinity Gauntlet, of course, and there was only one X-Men one, I believe, and the Cable and Deadpool one, I really needed those, but I 
I really love all of this. I really love seeing like with these posters you had that as, as well here. This is actually the exact same one. So I think this is from a movie, I think, uh, or from a comic. All of these are actual comic covers which have been uh, Lego-fied. And I really love seeing that. I know that uh, Luke Wenz on uh, Instagram, he does uh, some amazing work as well, like uh, Lego-fying. Uh, like comic covers and stuff and i'm really really digging that so as you can see the infinity gauntlet here we got the incredible hulk x-men here uh cable and deadpool and the venom one very epic i'm really digging that one uh, the mandalorian this classical spider-man i'm not sure if this is like the first amazing spider-man but uh, this is a very classical uh like comic uh, cover here so pretty epic and then this one as well uh so yeah really digging that really loving those spider-man letters i think those are from the 90s uh, so yeah, I'm very much doing this. I've put these together with a 2x6 uh, and I can't wait to put them somewhere in the city like people reading them or something. These are supposed to be comic uh, books. Those are 2x3 uh, tiles so they're a bit big but uh, these could be posters as well so I might just use them as posters in like a, uh, like some room somewhere but uh, either way really digging these now yeah. Alright now let's take a look at this baggie with some uh, freebies that we got here. So I always love freebies. Uh, when the site gives you them like you got the thank you sticker here so thank you guys uh, for these cool things so let me see the first thing you see here obviously is this big Apollo 50 uh, like mosaic type of thing it's like printed on on all of these like uh, 4x4 or like 16 uh, 1x2 tiles so you can just take them off which is pretty cool so you can incorporate them incorporate them in like a sidewalk or something uh, but anyway this might work pretty well for the um, the Times Square build that I was talking about or kind of mock customization that I was talking about earlier as it looks like these are all like different screens who have like one uh, big advertisement on them. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think this is from NASA as well, the Apollo 50. Then next up we got a same uh, size of these comic tiles, but this is a very special. This is actually a photo which is printed. It's pretty hard to see on camera. In real life it is as well actually, but this seems like it's a table full of like boxes of bricks, like those regular basic bricks boxes that you can buy. So I think this is from like their headquarters or something where they order all this stuff. Then they use that to print stuff on or to make like these vending machines or whatever. I'm not sure what this is and I'm, I have no idea where I'm going to put this <laughs> because it's just so random. Uh, but yeah, the other two things we got here, I do know where I'm going to put those. Uh, so first off, we got this very cool Game Boy Color here. Uh, so this is a Brick Boy, it says on here. Uh, and yeah, this is very awesome, especially because I used to own this one. I really love that color. I still do actually, uh, the lime green color. So I'm very happy that I got this color. And then we also have this uh, Game Boy Advance. Let me see, like this, the Game Boy Advance in that same uh, color as well. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, guys, that was it for this little review video here or this haul video here that I got from Eclipse Graphics. And now I uh, will definitely recommend you guys to check out the website, especially my US viewers. Uh, Shipping is going to be a lot uh, less hard on you guys so I definitely recommend checking that website out they have some awesome awesome stuff um, but either way be sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell stay tuned for some more stuff I got this new camera that I'm still trying to figure out how everything works uh, and then I'm gonna give you guys some proper new content without all, all of the shakiness and stuff <laughs> that we usually have so uh, be sure to stay tuned stick around to see some of the new city updates uh, Hogwarts updates all of that stuff is coming your way I have a bit of vacation now so i'm gonna to try to do as much as i can but either way thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next videos